sicuramente siamo dispiaciuti della sconfitta finale eh, perché surely we are a bit disappointed because after our comeback from 0 2 we could have won and we were here to win all the matches if possible però sicuramente abbiamo giocato la partita but uh, for sure we play a great game especially because we had in, in the roster and the starting six and what has happened during the game many new players with few international experience and we can't complain about anything we we did our, our best il fatto di aver perso tutti questi tie break nel torneo sure having lost all the tie breaks we played three times um, is not an alibi if we are young for and, and this is a point we have to focus and to stress from now on spero che riusciremo a arrivare nel podio perché credo che comunque Scusa, allora, vabbè, sono contento che siamo sul podio perché. And I'm happy we are on the podium because we play a very high level tournament for the whole tournament and we show that we are a good team. Courtois, uh, first of all, we knew that this match uh, against a, a strong team of Italy would be our, our game of our lives. I think we, we start playing very well in our in our block and defense, in our counter-attack. And I think uh, we have some chance to, to win the third set, but our nervousness to, to finish that match and to win the tournament, uh, I think again we, we have some, some trouble in the final of the, of the set. And then Italy in fourth set uh, played very well. Uh, they changed the, the setter. He made a, a very good match. And Zaitsev start to, to, to make a lot of, a lot of points. Uh, but in the tiebreak we, we made a good job and our, I think our mentality, we have patience to play. Uh, and we forgot a little bit our nervousness uh, that, we, that, that was the, our mistake in the third set. So I'm, I'm very happy because I think since the World Championship 2010 in Italy, the Brazilian team uh, didn't uh, won a world, world tournament and then we are back and we have a, a new generation so I'm very happy and proud of, of this group and let's keep our focus in, in the World Championship next year. Boa tarde a todos. Conseguimos well, hello everybody. Um, uh, today we had a, a match with a very, very strong and very difficult team. However, I, I am very satisfied with the result. And as you know, uh, uh, we are now in, in, the, in the middle of the progressing or evolution that as we have a new generation player coming in. And again, we are still evolving to a better. And, and at the end, uh, I'd like to say, yes, we are very, I am very happy to win this title. Train and practice a lot. We, we know that in Brazil we have a lot of pressure when we play in Brazil, when we play at home. Um, our team, like uh, Mauricio said, uh, is a team in, in construction. Uh, we are uh, improving. We have some players to, to, to return, like Murilo, I think uh, we can improve a lot uh, and with uh, his experience. Um, but I think we have to, to improve in, in, in all the, all the kind of, all, all the match, uh, all, all our, our game uh, and try to, to, to improve our mentality. Uh, with this nervousism because at home we will, we will get a lot of pressure and we have to be very uh, focused and, and calm and patient to, to play at home uh, Olympic game in 2016. The old players like uh, Giba, Sergio, uh, they, their leadership was uh, in, the, in all the days, in the, the practicing uh, by, the, by the example, not uh, telling nothing to the players. So, uh, that's what I, I try to do with them, um, trying to, to be their calm, but uh, the most important thing I think is, is the example, uh, day by day in our, our practicing, um, 
trying to to be always uh, positive and, and be an example, not uh, telling what they have to do or, or not. Because I, I'm not the I'm not uh, the yeah the one or God to to say what they have to do. But I just have to try to be an example uh, in our practicing. Uh, outside of the court and, and I think that's that's my leadership uh, is in, in this team. But first of all, I have to congratulate the Brazilian team for this victory, for the victory of the tournament. It's always an honor to play such level matches against this kind of teams. The, the second big thanks is to Japan because uh, the tournament is over for us. I think if I understood well, understood well we, we got a bronze medal in any case. Uh, that was just a perfect tournament. Perfect. Just perfect. Perfect for us. Perfect concerning the organization and the possibility that this tournament gave us to, to compete in this level. I'm uh, extremely proud for today. I'm extremely proud for anything we did in this tournament. I don't want even to hear any regret or any complaint concerning the fact that we have lost two matches that we could have won because always you have to consider the, the starting point of your project. We came here after a long season with the youngest team, with many new players in the starting six. <laughs> Not with a few preparation, with a small preparation or with a little preparation to determine with, without any single minute of the preparation. And I'm extremely proud and I want to get all the best from this tournament and to thanks, of course, all my players. Uh, about today, uh, again, we had some, some moments of beautiful volleyball. Uh, and this is what is taking me extremely optimist and, and, uh, and looking forward for the future. Now the season is over, we close this season with four medals, World League bronze medal, European Championship silver medal, Mediterranean Games gold medal and this bronze. I think it was a long time that Italy didn't won four medals in the same season. And. Uh, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud because we changed a lot of things. Also, you know, being surrounded by some smile. But I thank God that in my family they made me stubborn. And so I'm stubborn and I go on my way and I'm now already thinking to the next season. Thank you. And again, thank you to this country because always is an honor to play volleyball in, in Japan. First of all, I think I have to congratulate Mr. Beruto uh, for the job he's been doing with the team, new team, great volleyball player, and uh, um, we can see the construction, the building of a, a new team after the Olympics, and we are trying to do the same. We have some pieces that came back, but uh, we have some new pieces in. And uh, with a very tough and heavy heritage, you know, uh, having to substitute such champions and uh, winning so much is sometimes is tough. Uh, for today's match, again we had a, a roller coaster of emotions. Um, we managed to, to win the fifth set without, not without emotions again. But uh, most important thing is that after a defeat like the, the one that yesterday. You can imagine what they've been written, writing in Brazil this tonight, remembering the Olympics and everything. And for these guys here, most of them were not there. So, but anyway, uh, the the tiredness after a defeat like that is is heavy to to recover uh, 15 hours after to play a match, and the team the team team came back and fought and tried and and won, and that's. Pretty amazing and uh, give us pride of the team and pride of the attitude they, they had. So about volleyball, we, we played, I think Wallace played a great tournament and played again, again well. Lucas uh, played his level tonight and I think Bruno played a very stable championship, a very stable tournament. 
and uh, Lucarelli today, Mauricio went a little down, but I think uh, all over the tournament we had some very good observation to to, to focus and to uh, make the, the target of our work for the next seasons. So uh, thank you for everybody for the organization, everything, the hospitality and everything you give us here in Japan. This is my I don't know, 30th time in Japan from player to coach and it's it's not just an honor, it's a great pleasure and you know it's me at home. I've, I met a fan that, that I, I saw her the first time in 81 here in the World Cup, first time I played here. She has a son named for a player of my generation, Jose Montanaro, her son is called Jose. Meet her again here tonight was amazing. After 30 some years it's amazing to see people, they continue to follow us after so long. So that's it's Japan and his culture, his, how they like and how they admire and how they uh, have the respect for their idols and for the people they, they admire. So thank you and very happy that we won the tournament. Uh, we we got to have some critics for sure, but uh, I know they're getting tough to, to resist and go on. Thank you.